Hey guys and welcome back to another TechSuit review. Today we're looking at a brand that I've yet to feature on the channel. I'm talking about Italian manufacturer Acron. My point of contact at Acron is Andrea Bucari, an Italian freestyle swimmer who competed for his nation at the 2000-2004 Olympics and is a co-owner of Acron. Now, although I'm sure many of you haven't heard of Acron, they are distributed in the UK by Pro Swimwear, and the suit we're going to talk about today, the Venom, costs 215 British pounds. The name Venom isn't just random, it stands for Velocity Engineering New Original Manufacturing. Don't completely get where they got these words for or what they are, you know, meaning, but I like velocity. There is definitely engineering. It's new, or it was new when I got it. And how original it is, I'm not sure. And manufacturing, I don't even know where that word is pulled from. What I will say is they do a fantastic job when it comes to the packaging and the overall perception of this model. It comes in this epic box that reminds you of something you'd get for a piece of tech, not a tech suit, which when you open up has lovely information on the sides and this metallic glossy gold inside, which is sending a sun reflection all around my garden right now. It also tells me that Venom was born for speed, for the competition, to let you find your dark side. Now that's some sort of Darth Vader reference. Like more and more suits are doing, it comes with a great pouch, which has this sort of polyurethane material that reminds me of a jacket on one side, mesh on the other, Acron branding, and tightens up nicely. Finally, we have the suit, which I got in a size 26. It only comes in one fit, which is a slightly higher waist than normal fit, but it's not categorized as that, and it, there's no standard cut you can also get. It is what it is. That's the one style of the men's jammer. And looks damn cool. It says it's a dark blue navy with gold and it's not a black suit. If you look very closely in the right light, it does have a slight dark bluish to it, but it's definitely black inside. And the gold, well, they're obviously talking about these massive gold taping seams that they have around the side. Taping is there for a purpose. The Venom competition suit has also been fitted with double C-shaped taping to offer a better lift in the pelvis, helping to increase speed and the range of motion. A lot of suits are going down the route of putting taping on, and most make sense to me. The twin taping on the back of things like the Mizuno makes sense. The X taping also makes sense, but this C-shaping, I don't know how it interacts with the pelvis, and I also don't know why it would add range of motion. They have put it there for a, the, for a reason, and it's nothing to do with seams. They are, they are you know, strategically placed, and maybe they've done research, maybe they've found that this is the way for it to go. It does leave the suit looking very much like the Speedo Laser X, and yeah, you can't help but get Speedo Laser X vibes with it, and the taping feels like the other Speedo Laser X, and even the suit feels a little bit like the Laser X, and that doesn't bode well because you know I don't like the Laser X, but what I will say is this fits both better than the Laser X, it's more comfortable, dare I say it, outright better. Packaging of Venom also says it has minimum friction, maximum compression, hydrodynamics, a second skin effect, and a spring effect. Most of these things you could just throw out out of nowhere. The spring effect, I don't know where it comes from. I will confirm the taping on this suit doesn't give any sort of spring or kick support whatsoever. Material is a pretty standard makeup, 67% polymide, 33% elastane, and the inside of the suit is pretty much all single layer. Very much similar modesty lining to the Tira Victor, the last suit I reviewed, with it coming down past the bum, but purely for modesty reasons. And we can see the taping inside, so we have that, which is just actually four seams, then a C shape that you can see from the outside. One more tape down the bum, which is, again, just an actual seam. That's the suit. I guess it's time to put it on, see how it fits, and talk a little bit about the performance. The next massive strong point about the Acron Venom is the cut. And a lot of brands are going down that direction that Mizuno done originally, making these sort of hybrid high-waisted suits. Not ones that go up to your belly button, and I personally hate, and I know many other people did, but also one that's not barely covering, you know, the areas that need to be covered. But just sitting somewhere 
sort of halfway between your belly button and uh, and your waist. And I just find silks extremely comfortable like that. I just feel a little bit more locked in. And as I said, there's not multiple variations. From the first time I tried the Venom on, I was blown away by the fit and I, I really do like how this feels on. And that is further complemented by the gold taping that it has. And the strength of this taping is very impressive and it almost indents into the suit where it is and you can really feel it supporting the glutes when you're kicking and uh, dare I say it, pulling you up in the water a little bit. At least it gives that illusion by locking you in, especially on the on the, on the the backs of your legs. That being said, the taping doesn't have that up kick support or that snap effect off the walls, off the blocks and when you're kicking like Mizuno suits or even other flagship suits, suits like the Speedo Pure Intent and Tier Benzo. The material does have a lot of stretch to it, meaning this suit is very easy to get on, takes seconds, and it really does have that balance of compression through the taping. Where there's no taping to the quadriceps and in that inner thighs, you've got a lot of mobility, a lot of room to move, but when you've got the compression, you really do feel locked in, so it has got a very uh, balanced compression, but that does leave me not really knowing what this suit's strength would be. It doesn't have the extreme compression to high levels that maybe you'd want for a sprint, but it still has quite a bit through the tape and that maybe would be a little bit too much for longer distance events. And why I wouldn't say it's a competitor to something like the Tier Evictor. The material also has a very average water repellency and while it does have a little bit of the beading effect, it also saturates and absorbs a lot of water and you know when you get out the pool it's going to be soaking wet to a point where you can bring it dry. I'd say the overall performance is just good. I truly believe I can swim fast in this suit but it doesn't have any features that strike me as like wow that's best in class you need to try this thing out but at the same time as if you put me on the spot and said you've got to swim fast this is the only suit you've got I wouldn't be stressed out either. Overall I really like the packaging, the aesthetic, the fit and, and even to a degree the performance of the suit is pretty solid but what I will say is that a price of £215 is not cheap and when you've got much more tried and tested competitors at that price I don't know why you would be magnetised or drawn into buying a suit such as the Akron Venom outside of you really just loving the design and wanting to be different to your competitors. What I would like to see is brands like Akron and lesser known manufacturers coming into the market and offering this level of performance but undercutting the competitors so that you have a reason. If this was £100, £115, I'd be like, get the Venom. It's going to give you a lot of that top end performance but without the, the price. Well, I'm stood here saying it's actually more expensive than some other top tier suits. Why would you not go with someone like Speedo or Tier or Arena for exactly the same price? And that's the question that Akron have to ask themselves. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.